Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a microcap gem in the metaverse slash gaming sector, which I'm very, very bullish on for the next bull run. Before I get into it, I need to let everyone know I'm not a financial advisor. Also, please make sure to leave a like on the video if you do find it helpful as you're watching. Also, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Let's get straight into it. So the project I'm going to be talking about today is Nakamoto Games. The ticker for it is Naka. Now, I have spoke about this project a plethora of times on my channel. It's got a current market cap of 15 million, so it's still very small. Now, I just want to show you how we've been trading for Nakamoto Games in the last kind of 180 days and the last year. So I was talking to my Patreons about this project when it was sitting around three to five million dollars in market cap, I believe. Now, we have gone on a very parabolic rally um, into January and into February. And then what we saw as we you know, got into the later end of February, we saw a decline and a bit of sideways trading. Now, as all altcoins pretty much have dipped, as has Nakamoto Games. And you can see it's held up pretty well when you consider it. It's currently sitting at a market cap of 15 million. It got to the heights of around you know, 23 million. So it's held up very well, in my opinion. And I don't think we're going to be going down too much further from these current prices and from these current market caps. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, a lot more people know about this project than they did a few months back. Okay. Many YouTubers are starting to talk about it. They're bringing out new stuff. They're really up in their game in terms of marketing, particularly on Twitter. And more and more people are starting to hear about this project, right? I've done my part. Crypto Seth has talked about it. The Gem Hunters have talked about it. So it really is getting the word around now. And this project for me is a genuinely strong and good project. Now, the reason why I'm going to mention this as a metaverse project is they have the Nakaverse, which in itself, obviously, verse gives the impression that it's a metaverse cryptocurrency. But the reason why I like this crypto so much is it's not merely a metaverse cryptocurrency. Yes, it has its metaverse, which I'm going to show you right now, but it also has its games. Okay, I'm going to take that off. It also has its games. Let's take a look at the metaverse here. So build a beautiful city by combining our tools with your strategy. Nakaverse. So you can see how it works. You've got land ownership. There's a land sale, which is really interesting. You've got the NFT marketplace in Nakamoto Games. And it just looks like a cool idea. So they're going to have their own Nakamoto games verse, right? A Nakaverse. And there's going to be marketplaces within it. So you're going to be able to buy land. You're going to be able to buy NFTs. And it's going to be very similar to other metaverses in the crypto space. So I'm very bullish on that idea. And even if I don't myself think that the metaverse is going to be this crazy, crazy thing in the next year, I think it's going to generate hype. And it doesn't, really ha it doesn't really matter what I think. I think a lot of the metaverse is overhyped jargon, right? I do think it'll be big in the long run, but I think we're still very early on. And I don't think VR is going to be a thing until five to 10 years time. But it generates hype. Just like AI does, metaverse generates hype. And I think we're going to see another huge rally in the metaverse sector due to the fact that Apple are bringing out their own VR headset. And meta with Facebook are going full swing into the metaverse. They're not showing any signs of stopping. In fact, they're continuing to bring out new headsets and they're continuing to bring out new updates. So I think there's going to be a really big rivalry now between Meta and Apple when it comes to VR. And that in itself is going to mean that the progress gets sped up even more. Essentially how markets work. When you've got two huge giant competitors, the leaps forward that they make is phenomenal, right? Look at the Cold War. You had two huge forces essentially fighting each other indirectly, and we had so much technological advancement in that period. I think we're going to see something similar when it comes to VR and the metaverse. And I know it's a very wild comparison, but it makes sense. I think we're going to have Apple and Meta fighting it out. Who's going to be the number one VR headset? And I think it's going to mean that there's going to be much more innova innovation and much more advancement in this space in the next few years. So, and it's all unfolding right now. 
Nakamoto Games is a project which I trust when it comes to gaming, right? I'm going to show you right now on the gaming front some of the games that they've got. Very simple, easy to play, enjoyable games in my opinion, right? You can see them here. So if they can do the gaming front successfully in my opinion, why not try out the why not try out the uh, the metaverse, right? City building, digital land. So this is something which I'm very bullish on myself. And they are updating everyone here about the Nakaverse. You can see here, a week of breakthroughs at Nakamoto Games, partnering with academia and government, teasing the revolutionary Nakaverse 2.0, launching the first ever web-free gaming Telegram bot and preparing for a strategic expansion into, is that Hong Kong and China? So what you can see here is two things. Number one, Nakamoto Games are putting the metaverse at the forefront of their project. They're really believing in this. But also you've got links now to Hong Kong and China, which in and of itself makes me very bullish because we're seeing a huge narrative now in crypto. China coins. Which coins are China coins? And there's a whole list now on Twitter. These are the China coins. Now, if Nakamoto Games becomes a China coin in the element of gaming, this is going to be huge because there's a huge market in Hong Kong looking to invest in crypto. So bullish news. I want to see what it looks like because there's not much footage of the actual kind of gameplay here. But I'm very bullish on this project. And what you can see here is they are a very global currency, right? Very, very global. So in the long, in the long run, I think this project's going to do very well. Not much more for me to say about it. 64 out of 180 in circulation, $15 million market cap. We are on the Polygon network, so it's going to be very fast, not going to have any issues in terms of scalability. Super easy to buy. If you do want to buy it, you can buy it on KuCoin and Mexi, so you're not going to have any problems in terms of buying it. Where can this one go? Everyone's going to ask. $15 million market cap. I would not be surprised if we see between a 50 to a 75x from here. What would that be? in terms of market cap, 15 times 75, 1.1 billion. Wouldn't surprise me. 1.1 billion would not surprise me. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this one goes. Hopefully you guys gain some value from this video. I know it was a short one. Make sure to check out my Patreon page. As I said, those guys are getting into this one way before the rest of the crowd. And there's going to be many more gaming projects and many more metaverse projects which I share with my Patreons and they will get the edge. They will get early access and therefore they will make more money. I recommend the VIP plus tier. This is the one that most people go for because it gives you that telegram access. It's a huge network. It's a huge community of like-minded individuals, all super serious about making money. But if you're even more serious, I recommend you book a one-to-one -one call with myself and join the VIP boss tier. We can book a one-to-one -one call go over any of your crypto needs, whether you want me to be like a personal mentor, whether you want me to teach you everything from the beginning, or whether you want me to just approve of your portfolio and do some further research on some of the projects that you're looking into. I have got you covered. But for those who have, you know, more of a budget, you not you haven't got too much money, you want a budget tier, go for the premium or go for the elite. There's a hell of a lot of value if you join those two tiers. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.